Hello everybody. You struggling creating a successful rigger car rig? Wobbly wheels. Wheels won't rotate. Can't get the model to connect properly. Well, you're in luck. Here's five top tips to help you solve those pesky problems. The first issue I came across when I was trying to auto assign with the correct labeling of parts. My first issue was that I built my own model and it was in many objects. Rigger car guidelines show only having wheels, brakes and the body. So the fix I found for this was to parent the relative car parts to the correct bones and armature. Parent your wheels, brakes and your body separately. If like me you had lots of layers for the body, make sure to select them all and parent to the root bone, body bone. You may find you need to apply any modifiers you use to make these wheels too. They need to be one object. Now we've done this, when you press the rigger car generate button you should successfully have a car rigged. Yay, bendy wheels, Woo. The next issue I ran into was my wheels wouldn't rotate along the y-axis with the convenient toggle switch rigger car provides. My issue was that when you add the constraint to the car object, you need to make sure that you first click the curve and click the root bone. You must select both for this to work. Just adding a follow path on the object root won't work. Click them both. Is your car trying to go back to the future and levitating over the scene? This is a simple fix. You need to go to the side menu, click the ground sensors and then use the eyedropper tool to select the ground that you want them to touch. If you're having problems, go back to step two. Number four. For me, this was the biggest learning curve. Whenever I would render a scene, my wheels would look like they were gonna fall off. Here, look. I could not understand why my wheels were so wobbly. In the end, it was my world origins. To fix and recenter your wheels, you need to switch to origins mode, which is here. Click the wheel, go into edit mode, and then press shift S and put your 3D cursor in the middle. Then go back to object mode, press shift S again, and snap the origins to the 3D cursor. Boom, there's your perfect wheel. This is an amazing tip. Finally, we have a fun tip about drivers. If you just want to rotate anything quick and easy, you can just select the axis you want to rotate, then type in hashtag frame times two, and when you press enter, you'll notice your wheels will spin freely. The only problem with this method is if you own a laptop like mine that doesn't have a hashtag symbol. What? I hope this can help you all. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll try to assist. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.